1942, there was an Austrian psychiatrist named Viktor Frankl. He was sent to a Nazi concentration camp where he spent three years experiencing and observing some of the most extreme behaviors of humanity. Now he survived and went on to write one of the most influential books in America called Man's Search for Meaning. In this, he explains how when there is a difference between our actual life experience, so life as we know it, and our desired life experience, so not just kind of your aspirations, but the daily life routines that you kind of want to get to, then life can seem, even become meaningless. Now, I am lucky enough to have a family that loves me. I'm doing a degree that really challenges me, and I have a job that I adore. I've worked really hard to get here, and I expect I'll have to work a lot harder if I ever want to get anywhere near my aspirations. But I'm also aware that when you lose sight of your meaning or disregard your well-being, your chances of success are far lower. It is imperative that we find ways of keeping ourselves happy and healthy while at the same time working towards our goals. There is no way that we can do all those things we have to do in life if actually we're not in the right state of mind or body to do them. We have to find this meaning. I believe that unpaid work is a way of doing this because although altruism in its own right is a great reason for taking part in volunteer work, actually doing it for yourself should be a more respected and acceptable reason for taking part. There was a study done by the London School of Economics which showed that the likelihood of being very happy rose by 16% when comparing those who had never volunteered before with those who volunteer on a weekly basis. Now, that may not seem like much, but actually it is the equivalent of going from the expected happiness attained at an income of $20,000 to an expected happiness gained at $75 to $100,000, which is a lot. Now, volunteering is so rewarding, and it is something which while you can do it for yourself, you can also do it for other people. It's not all about saving the world or creating world peace. It is a mutually beneficial and logical decision for yourself and for society. Now, I'm sure many of you have a really great job. You really enjoy it, but actually, sometimes it's not exactly fulfilling and exciting all the time, all day. There are many times when the only thing we look forward to is actually getting back into bed at the end of the day. I believe that adding this other dimension to your life can further our sense of perspective and often help us rationalize. I'm sure I'm not the only one here who actually gets ridiculously angry over what are no normally known as first world problems, like, where my headphones get tangled up in my pocket, or if I get to the shop and they find out that there's no semi-skimmed milk. My mum, who is probably my biggest inspiration in life, she sent me this quote the other day by uh, the playwright George Bernard Shaw, which reads, this is the true joy in life, the being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one the being a force of nature instead of complaining that the world won't devote itself to making me happy. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community. And for as long as I live, it is my privilege to do for it whatever I can. So, how many of us actually volunteer at the moment? Well, in the UK, 14.2 million people volunteered last year. That's 27% of the adult population, which is brilliant. But if you look back through years previously, 
That is the exact same percentage as in 2001, meaning that really we have not been doing enough to further this activity, and participation has remained stagnant. We must do more to think about the ways which improve our well-being and increase participation in this activity. Of course, it is a luxury to have free time to do this. Many people don't get that opportunity. Please don't think I'm being naive when I'm telling you all to take on more obligation, when actually life can be hard enough as it is. But actually, if you do have this chance, you will experience exceptional results. So, taking, unpaid, taking part in unpaid work. Why is it so great? Well, first off, you're not being paid, obviously. It might not sound like a benefit, but actually, when you don't have that long-term monetary goal, you are forced to focus on the aspects of the work that you truly enjoy. Your incentives then shift from taking part in the work because you have to, to doing it because you want to whether that's helping out at a food bank or cleaning up a park, your sense of accomplishment and purpose becomes far more prevalent. Some of you may already have plenty of meaning and happiness in life, and that's great. But statistically, according to the Happiness Index, the UK is 23rd in the world. If we look at something like the Good Country Index in comparison, which measures the output of health, security, uh, inequality, culture, we are fourth in the world. Now, 23rd, fourth, that doesn't really add up. Why is it that we are doing so well in other sectors, yet we are not happy in comparison to other states? We need to be doing more in the UK to be looking after ourselves. We need to be finding that meaning in order to be catching up. In this current climate of political uncertainty and change, I do worry about the future. I'm sure I'm not the only one. And actually, being able to constructively impact society through this unpaid work is extremely comforting to me. There are often occasions I feel hopeless when faced with some of the decisions made by our politicians or corporate elites. I think one of the best ways to combat this is through sharing our opinions, raising up our values, and strengthening our community as a whole. As Oscar Wilde once said, the smallest act is worth, the gr is worth more than the grandest intention. So actually, I don't mind what motivates you to take part in unpaid work, whether that's for yourself, which is absolutely fine, whether it's for something else or someone else. The important thing is that you go out there and you try it. Thank you. Thank you.